Did you know that JavaScript currently stands as the most commonly used language in the world? It's used by 69.7% of developers worldwide. As you can guess, today the Jelvix team will share with you the history of JavaScript and some amusing facts you may be interested in. On our channel, we share thoughts on recent developments in the tech industry. Subscribe not to miss new videos. Here we go. JavaScript is a scripting language that is one of the three main languages used for developing websites. While HTML and CSS provide the structure and style of a website, JavaScript allows you to add functionality and behavior to your website, allowing your website visitors to interact with your content in many creative ways. JavaScript is primarily a client-side language, meaning it runs on your computer in your browser. However, more recently, the advent of Node.js allowed JavaScript to execute code on servers as well. Let's move on to the JavaScript history. JavaScript was born as a scripting language for input validation. Because of the way it's evolved, we would say it's a programming language that can take hours to master and years to master. Have you already worked with JavaScript? What pros and cons did you notice? Please, share your experience in the comments section below. Would you like to know more about the solutions that JavaScript and its frameworks open? We have an in-depth article about it. The link is in the description. So who introduced JavaScript? The JavaScript creator is Brendan Eich. He developed JavaScript in 1995 while working for Netscape Communications Corporation. The Java programming language was rapidly gaining popularity at the time, and Netscape Communications was working to make it available in Netscape Communicator. However, Java was too large and complex for hobbyists, scripters, and designers alike. To address this problem, Netscape Communications contracted Brendan Eich to develop a universal programming language that could speed up web development and serve as a Java scripting aid. Interesting fact, originally JavaScript had another name. Early versions of JavaScript were called Mocha. Shortly after the Mocha prototype was presented at Netscape Communicator, it was renamed LiveScript, simply because the live world was better for marketing. In December of 1995, it was renamed again, this time to JavaScript. The first version of JavaScript defined many of the great features that this coding language is known for today. The main of them are prototype-based object model, first-class object functions, and syntax that is similar to Java. So why was JavaScript created? Back in 1995, Netscape Communicator was the most popular web browser in the world. Way founder Mark Anderson wanted to make the internet more dynamic by creating animation, user interaction, and other automation as a standard part of any website. He also knew that Microsoft was working hard on its own Internet Explorer browser and wanted to make Netscape Communicator more attractive to developers by equipping it with both an enterprise-grade programming language, Java, and a smaller scripting language, JavaScript. While this plan didn't stop Microsoft from taking over the web browser market and ousting Netscape Communications from the business, JavaScript nevertheless managed to escape its walled gardens of roots. How does JavaScript look like today? JavaScript is the most used client-side scripting language for now. It's written in HTML documents and allows you to interact with web pages in many unique ways. Moreover, newer developments like Node.js allow JavaScript on the server side, while APIs like HTML5 allow you to manipulate user media and other device functionality. The history of JavaScript is complex, but not yet complete. So, do you use JavaScript? What frameworks do you prefer? This video was produced by the Jelvix team. We help the world's leading brands innovate and accelerate digital transformation. We're sharing the latest on technology trends and innovations. So be sure to subscribe not to miss any videos, and don't forget to press the bell button. Also, share what topics we need to cover further on our channel. Find our contact details in the description box. Bye for now.